first a little backstory for this particular unboxing video. Back in October of 2014, there was a bunch of news stories about a hoverboard produced by a company named Hendo. And I wasn't really interested in a hoverboard, and I heard that they had a Kickstarter. So I went to the Kickstarter, checked things out, because I knew I like gadgetry and new stuff, and I found on their Kickstarter that they had a developer kit called the White Box, and that is what compelled me to pledge to the Kickstarter. And they met their goal, as predicted, because, I mean, the news was all over the place. And the White Box was supposed to be shipped in, I believe it was August of 2015. But August came, and the White Box was put off until October, which is fine, you know, delays happen. It's new technology and everything. Then October came, and so did an email telling everybody, all the investors, about another delay. But this time, we got something special in the mail. This time, we got a sweet piece of metal. The Phantom Package. They did let us know that we would be getting a surface upon which to float our white boxes. And this is the unboxing of that particular surface came all the way from China. I'm not sure why it came all the way from China. I'm fairly certain we still have aluminum in the United States, but that is where this aluminum surface came from. And it's a pretty impressive sheet of metal. I mean, it's plain, but it's thick. And that's one of the things that mystifies me about this little hover technology is that when you think magnetics, you think ferrous metal, something to repel against. But this uses conductive surfaces to uh, float over. I'm wondering if it's any conductive surface. I'm wondering if there's a reason why this metal is as thick as it is. Like, would copper need to be as thick, or would copper have to, um, would copper be able to be thinner just because it's more conductive? Or could you use salt water? Because salt water is conductive. So there are a whole bunch of different possibilities with this technology. And I can't wait to get the white box just to tear the sucker apart and figure out how it works. Because I would love to use it for industrial machines. Moving motors and errands because I work on industrial compressors for a living. And I am too damn old to start lifting and hoisting motors and errands. So if I could adapt hovering technology to lift industrial equipment, that is exactly what I'll do. Of course, there are people with more resources, more brain power, more everything than I have, and they'll probably beat me to the punch, but for me that's irrelevant because I'm in it for the discovery. I'm in it for the learning and the thrill of just applying something I've learned. And the last I heard from Hendo, they just said that the white box would not be delivered by Christmas. So that's not exactly a delivery date, it's more like when you won't get something. So I still sit here anxiously awaiting my white box developer kit, eagerly awaiting the time I'll get to take it apart and hopefully not break it. They could be retired, living off of our money, sitting in the Canadian Alps, drinking Cristal. I don't think they are. I think it's a little company and I think they are genuinely, they genuinely want to make something that works well. And in order for something to work well, it takes time to develop it. And that's something I don't think we appreciate in our culture these days, is that quality takes time. But we want everything when we want it and everything is crap now. You do the math. I eagerly await my white box. And I will, believe me, I will be making a video of that when it happens. It's just going to be me staring at this floating little box.